simple. I'm going to be filming like forcing a glow up. Getting like a tan, a lash lift. I'm gonna like, you know, just stack, stack, stock up on some things that I'm missing. And my parents are also going to the city today, so I'm kind of all on my own. I'm gonna make my bed. Pick my outfit. I actually cleaned out my wardrobe the other day. It probably doesn't look that clean, but the jewels are like marvelous and there's nothing on the bottom, so I consider that clean. I could wear this. I bought this the other day. It's got like a really cute bow on it. It's just a basic t-shirt. And guess what? It matches my Ugg boots. And maybe like I could do that with some low-rise jeans. Oh, but maybe high-rise might look better. Oh, I also have this top. I also bought this really recently. It's super cute. It's got like cherries on it, which I really like. It's just plain and white. I actually bought this black bodysuit the other day and I really, really like it. But black just looks like kind of sad on camera. I do like this. It's just a simple white baby tee. Wait, everything I picked like is white. Oh my God. There's one more thing that I'm confused about. I just don't know what jeans to wear it with. They're both like a baggy sort of fit. This one's more of like an oversized fit. And then these ones are low and skinny. Now I'm just gonna do my makeup and hair and then we'll go to the shops. And we'll also probably get something to eat for breakfast. So I forgot to brush my teeth and now I have a lip gloss on. But I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm looking for like a body lotion because I'm right out at the moment. There's someone in the aisle with me, so I'm probably looking awkward right now. Mm -hmm. But I had this one last time, but I didn't like it. Because I didn't feel moisturized. I kind of want to try this one. It looks really nice. I reckon this one's the best option and it's also half priced and it just like Aloe vera, it's like magical. One of the best things ever is an empty aisle because then I can film. I just found these moisturizers. They're a lot more money. Two for 15 is literally crazy and they're cute. I need more shavers because somehow I've run out. I'm gonna get a thumbnail really quick. I've decided I'm gonna get this one because it's like for sensitive skin. I've got pretty sensitive skin. Okay, I don't know what to do because I'm getting like whitening stuff on my teeth, but they have like the actual thing and then they've got like strips. What? Okay, I decided on this one because it was like half price and it just looks like it'll work. I just finished paying for everything and I realized I forgot the one thing I'm here for, the exfoliator. This might work. A scrub bar and it's only $2.50. So I got a juice and a caramel slice. Taste test time. Oh my god. As you can see, I drank a little on the way, so. But, I got a juice and a caramel slice. Oh my god, it looks so good. Mm. Whoever invented caramel slice, I love you. Mm. There's a guy that I like, but he likes another girl. Or he like might like another girl, I'm not really sure, but it's, it's sad. Sad little thing. So I'm having a main character moment at the moment. I'm actually excited to see what the glow up looks like at the end of the video. Also, it's my mom's birthday yesterday and I got her these really pretty cups. Anyway, I'm trying to get my life a little bit more back on track at the moment because it's kind of just like all mumbo jumble at the moment. Like some things are all in place, but other things aren't. I need to get back on top of my work. My stuff's actually clean at the moment, which is a surprise. I get angry too much and then I lose trust and then I'm sad. And I just keep doing that and it just takes me in a deeper hole. But I'm trying to like put de shovel the hole. My metaphors aren't working, what am I talking about? <laughs> but um anyway, I've got my fake tan appointment soon, so I need to like Hey, I'm all done my shower. Okay, I'll be back when my batteries are in. I'm back. Was that a wacko transition or no? It was, wasn't it? Okay, okay, I'm gonna put it in now. So I've got the white stuff on it now, I'm gonna put it in. Mm -hmm. I'm on the way to the lash lift and fake tan, and I'm so excited. Here's the room I'm getting the lash lift in. It looks really nice, I'm super excited. I got a little bed and a little stuff. Okay, I'm gonna see it. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. They look so good. They look amazing. You happy? Wow, thank you so much. No worries. I love them. Okay, so I just finished my lash lift. And oh my god. Here's the spray tan of the room. I have a little mirror. Then I have all my stuff. And then there's the little booth. I'm all done and I decided not to get my face done. I'm all done my tan. Here is the tan situation so far. 
So I once made a picture like kind of like these ones, but mum wants me to do one for her, so I'm just gonna do it on here for our new Bondo house. I'm gonna actually give you a bit of a tutorial so all your family members can hit you up and never leave you alone for the rest of your life. I don't really like this style of art. I feel like it looks a little weird, but I mean, no one else agrees, so. So how I draw this is I just like draw smoke at the start. So like, just like things that look like smoke, like just like squiggles really. Just like in very rim spots. If you draw a shape and you just don't like it, just rub it out. For dogs, you just kind of just gotta draw them but like in a doggy shape. Okay, now that you have all like the squiggliness on, I usually just draw like hair. But um, I just wanna kinda chat. I'm not even really sure what about, but I just wanna chat. I'm sure a lot of you also know about like Sabre's, how she wants a nose job. I feel like I was probably a little bit judgy before, but I feel like Sable wants one and she is 100% sure that that's what she wants. And she's like, knows it can go wrong. And she's like, as I'm growing up, I really realized all the things Sable went through when she was my, like around my age. I feel bad for how I judged her for it because it all makes sense now, you know? And I don't want her to feel like that again now that she's 18. I remember when I was a little kid and I would do sticker books so, and I would pretend like I was a character in each like page. And I always like tried to dress the other people ugly so I'd look really pretty. Mum? Yeah? Um, I'm drawing that picture for you right now, the squiggly people. What color did you want in the backdrop? Oh, good. I'm not really sure why, but for some reason this step's like really important and if I don't do it, the picture just doesn't look good. So, what I do is I get my palette, add like a fair bit of water, and then I add blue. And I just, I don't, don't add too much blue, but it should be like a light blue. painted today. I'm very happy with it. I'll see you when my tan is all washed. It is one day later, my tan is fully processed and mum has bought me some outfits because I'm going through a really big dress but or she just picks like stuff that's a total flop. But I'm excited to figure out what will be cute and what will not be. And remember, I have to figure out what I want to get rid of so I can't keep everything. Oh, I think that's a crop. Do you like that? I feel like that's kind of cute. I'm not typically a fan of puffer jackets but like I know they're in fashion at the moment. Why are you staring at me? What do you want? It's not really exactly cold though in Australia. Also keep watching because like after this I'm going to get a really nice outfit and I'm going to like do my makeup, my hair and all that and we're going to do like the final transformation of my forced glow up. So I'm not a fan of this one. I like the idea of it. I just don't think I suit them. I really like the color actually. In Australia, I don't feel like I'll ever wear this either. I'd just rather wear like an oversized jumper. Ooh. Oh my God, I like this. Here's the next one. These aren't really things I would like pick from the shops myself. I don't like that drawstring that like at the bottom of the top. That's, that's, that's weirding me out, but let's try it on. I actually think that's kind of cute. In Australia, summer's ending and winter is soon. So I kind of like this thing. I just, I don't really like this. Like it may be for that the back would be better, but like I just feel like it's weird like that. I like how it's not too long though or too short. So I think I'll keep it. Okay, I'm excited for this one. Ooh, I actually don't mind this one. But also I'm tan, so I feel like blue suits me a lot better than it would like normally. I feel like I'm really picky. Maybe I'm in a picky mood. Okay, this is probably my favorite one so far. Ooh. Oh, I like, oh my God. I love that. Oh my God, how do you mom think of this? Okay, I really like these ones. They are like white cargo pants. I'm actually going to the Easter show soon, so I think I might wear these. Oh, I love, I love. I think they're perfect. Oh, this one looks really cute. Oh, I really like this. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my gosh. I love this one. Ah, look at the back. I really wish you were here because if you feel it, it's like very soft and fuzzy. I have a feeling I'm not going to like this one because it's got a collar. I feel like the dress is really cute, but I just don't like things with collars because I feel like I look like a little posh kid. We've got the blue dress, but it's in a white. I don't know. I don't like this one. No, I do not like this one. It's time for the final part of my glow up and I'm going to be doing my hair and makeup. So, I got this eyeliner pen the other day. Mum, it was for a challenge. I'm going to use it. Are you ready for the finished results of my glow up? Three, two, one. I am literally, I'm so, so happy with it. My lashes. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Catch me in that good. Good luck, you two. Sophie might have missed her competition.